Hello my beautiful sunshines, it's Sunny Bunny here and we are going to be reacting today to Markiplier Makes. Um, I'm probably going to be doing probably all of them. I know there's like one for pizza, one for pancakes that we're going to be watching today. And let's just see, is he just making pancakes or does he have friends helping him? I honestly don't know. I didn't see any of these so I actually have no clue what's going on and what in the world is on the side of the wall? I just noticed that. Like, what is this thing? Is that a vacuum or something? That looks really weird. I don't know what it is, but whatever. Uh, so let's get right into the video. Keith, get your ass in here. My Smack ass? that ass for the fake. Ready? <laughs> wow. What? Ouch. <laughs> okay. Once upon a time. Yes. In an old English country of Scottsdale, Arizona. <laughs> there was a man who dreamed a dream. Uh -huh. To take the previously made invention of pancakes and turn it into something incredibly new and interesting and zesty. Uh -huh. He made Mickey Mouse, which wasn't to be invented for another 400 years. <laughs> into a pancake shape. <laughs> and with that, he created a new era of pancake consumption, which was a time-honored tradition among the pagans uh -huh. in Europe. So from then on, we decided that it was time for us to revive this lost art of pancake art. But I can't do it alone. Uh -huh. I need my friends. Or whatever this nearest them will do to substitute friends. <laughs> Tyler the Apocalypse Shine. Known for his devastating flipping capabilities. If he were to flip at 100% capacity, he would annihilate the entire universe. <laughs> well, I'm destruction across the land. He was known once to flip so hard, it cracked the very crust of the ocean, causing untold destruction. You really? remember Noah's flood? More like Tyler's fist. <laughs> and also, Ethan the Crust Nester. If you were to even question anybody who has the greatest, crispiest, goldenest crust in the world, it would be Ethan. There is no <laughs> telling to how good that crust can be. Contents of the pancake aside, it might be bad, the crust, the flakiness, the bitterness, the crispiness. What? Cannot be beaten on any scale. And I love these three together. They're so among funny. These titans of pancake. Well, I can't believe you don't recognize me. Maybe not with this face. It's me, Markiplier. <laughs> Mark. Ma Mark. <laughs> Mr. Butterworth. Frischbach. Oh, yes, that's true. <laughs> If you were wondering what made that syrup so thick and juicy, it was 100% me, baby. Oh so. my god, okay. Shut up, Mark. Not laugh. You know why there's a national recycling program for these? Because uh -huh. they send it to my house for refilling. So. <laughs> yeah, covering every single pancake out there in existence. It's 100% me. <laughs> so let's get started with this trio of perfection. How can things go wrong? Only when we're pitted against each other in Mortal Kombat. Yes. Each in our own right, legendary oh among gosh. the Hopefully pancake it's not professionals. Too bad. Okay, let me... We are here to bring this home to another level there of pancake. Go. We're going to take your suggestions and your suggestions alone to make the greatest, best, fantasticest, mysticalist pancakes. In existence, and who, whomsoever makes, and whomsoever makes the greatest, best, most accurate pancake to your desire. I thought he was reacting to a dog bark, but maybe it was like, so wait, I said started. that wrong. Shall we? Shan't we? We shall. We shall. We shall. We're going in raw. <laughs> using recipes. We're not using measuring cups. We've been doing this for thousands of years. We know exactly what to do with these ingredients here to make the best really, do you? possible. To be honest, I don't. Be wondering, oh, where's the spoons? <laughs> these are the spoons. Spoons. <laughs> spoons. <laughs> these are the spoons. Spoon. Spoon. Oh my gosh, you guys are so weird. Each of us will have three minutes to make the best batter that we can. No buttermilk here, unfortunately. Don't know why no one's wanting me to make buttermilk pancakes. They don't want me to win. Count it down. Three, two, one, go. 
Usually, as my dad would have done this, he would have put this in the fridge overnight, uh, you know, to fully mix and, you know, rise a bit. I feel like Ethan knows what he's doing. Going a little bit, I feel like Ethan has the, uh, done this before, so he knows what he's doing. More like, more like the incredulous. Because as Shine. soon as he started, uh, he did, he grabbed the pan and he sprayed it. So I think he knows what he's doing. <laughs> That's fine, so I can tell he's probably made pancakes before. Days, dude. All right. So as you can see, my opponents here unintelligibly went for two eggs. Uh, when obviously you should only use one egg. You don't want to. You want. You don't want too gluey a pancake. The more protein you have in there, the more it's gonna stick. You want a fluffy pancake. Okay. Gotta go light on the mix. Marguerite set to low and oh fuck god <laughs> Those are my settings. How's the time? You have a minute ten. Easy! Yeah. We got this cha, cha, cha. We used to make pancakes in our sleep. So you may be wondering, oh this doesn't seem so bad. Oh, we're gonna be judged on taste, composition, and accuracy to the prompt. That's how we're gonna be judged. May I taste your batter? No. One <laughs> finger? Not at all. <laughs> you can't taste my batter on a boat. You can't taste my batter on a boat. No! <laughs> oh, no! Too much sugar! Wow, that's a good squeeze of sugar. And spoons down! Spoons down! <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. not the first bad part. It's the very last. It's about to be in quality over quantity. Well, you need to food color it. Yeah, <laughs> just like with YouTube, it's not about quantity of videos. It's <laughs> about quality. Mm -hmm. That's remarkable. <laughs> okay, do we get to wash our hand now? No! <laughs> what are you stupid with your stupid hand? Don't you dare. Put that back in your bowl, bitch. That doesn't take no crap. That will be. No! Who's ready for this? I'm ready. So, we're ready on the squeeze! So, Tyler needs the girth in his pelvis. We can, you know, conservative go flow ocean bottles. Are you sure I can't go watch that? No! You wipe! Oh, wipe, wipe a big boy. So, we've also got food coloring for uh, stupidity. Don't know why that's there. Whoever had that idea was a dumb. Bring in the grill! No, not you. Oh, well, so, I think, should we spray it down? Give it a good spritz? Spray yourself, you bitch. <laughs> Should I spray it? Give it a good spray. You are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> yes, you can spray it. You are the crust, after all. Well, this is why he's a master. <laughs> so much. This is why he's the master. If you uh -huh. question the master, you get bit in the ass. That's the deal. If you okay. like getting bit in the ass, I love how his looks like mustard. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right, so what we need is we need your suggestions right now. Write in the comments right now. No, we have to color first. Color? Color or I'm not coloring until it gets on the griddle. Mm -hmm. Where's my spatch? You have to be spatch. Here's your spatch. Thank you. Here's my spatch. That's Tyler's spatch. Do not touch. Don't touch his spatch. Don't touch the artist. No. Forbidden what else? <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> it's back on. We've got our squeeze. We've oh got my to god. Squeeze real good. If we don't squeeze good, we die. Ready? Let's do one squeeze together. Ready? No. No? Okay. You squeeze by yourself. <laughs> back in 1824, there were 13 people in the small town of Salem, Oregon. They thought someone was a witch because they made a pancake art just in the exact representation of Satan himself. <laughs> Yes, sizzling with anticipation, they they cast the witch into the local lake. This, and but as soon as she touched the water, suddenly uh -huh. the entire lake turned to syrup. And with this, <laughs> so the most famous witch of all. Mrs. Oh my Barbara gosh! Right, what? Hurry, 
Where's the cowardly dog? We're just rolling into that after that <laughs> fortune story. <laughs> no, it's not. Shit story. That was a. Uh, that was that was my wife. <laughs> <laughs> my Let's do this. Ready? Courage. The cowardly. By who? He, uh, the former Stinson. Ready? Ready? Set. Go, bombs away. Bombs away. If anybody knows what he used to look like. Well, that's not good. <laughs> I really hope if I remember what Curtis the Cowardly Dog looked like. He looks like a fucking dog. <laughs> he didn't look like a fucking dog. What do you mean he didn't? I watched the freaking show. He's pretty much like a fucking dog, if I'm not. If I'm, if I'm to be mistaken here. Mine is corrupted. Mine is corrupted. <laughs> corrupted. Someone has, has tainted my butt. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Got Flint executed perfectly. It's okay, courage. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay now. What's your name? Only dreams. No nightmares. <laughs> Mine's done. Dude, you, you got in the crypt. <laughs> I know. What is that? What is that? Time to flip. Dude, no. <laughs> <laughs> First look. We're gonna fill out our plate with multiple things. Uh -huh. um, you're just gonna have pancakes. <laughs> uh, good choice with Tyler the Apocalypse Shine. He knows that Kirby is the most destructive force known to man. And in all video game world, there is no one more sinister and more devastating than Kirby. Alright, what is our next suggestion? Squidward! Squidward! Squidward. Oh, jeez. That's a really good Squidward look. Thanks. We'll see how it turns when I, if I can flip this thing. I need to borrow someone's spatula. Yours looks like a dude. <laughs> mine is not, my stuff is not coming out of the freaking bottle. Whoa. Whoa. Careful, don't go on top of mine. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Get more! Shit, sorry. God. Sorry. Damn it. I've ruined yours. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That's like you're making an omelet. <laughs> just wait until it's done. Oh my god. Oh yeah, it's yours is. That's, 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 your, that's your main problem. Your batter is off. <laughs> it's like dog vomit. Yours looks so good. Thanks. Oh, Tyler, how do I? <laughs> like I just took a dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's oh, so oh, consistent. God. I had a hard time because my <laughs> my stuff isn't coming out of my oh, right, right, right. No. Just oh yeah, if you if you flip around, it's like you like said. <laughs> mine are consistent, and so are yours. And uh, mine are Squidward and Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh my god. Yeah. So are mine. So uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Last one. Mm -hmm. I had no idea how to draw Squidward. I'm bad from. Memory. Alright, what is the last challenge? Homer Simpson. Homer Simpson? No, I'll do Homer. Homer. Ace, Ace Simpson? A Simpson. Mark. I'll do Homer. Okay. Peaceful time. Relax. Good change from our normal fucking insane <laughs> things that we do. I just want to take the time to say that I really love making videos with you guys. Like it's it's some of the greatest joys of my week to be able to come together and watch you fail and you succeed, but in the wrong way. <laughs> Why are you using your finger to draw? It's really inspiring. You know, you may fail, but you fail in 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 a wonderful way. Oh, thank you. You're really good at making pancakes. <laughs> I love making pancakes. But one of the one of the most cherished times uh, when I was growing up was uh, my dad made pancakes every single Sunday. And he loved pancakes. He, he, it was like a cherished tradition of ours. Every Sunday morning, we'd have pancakes, and he would start preparing them on Saturday because he would have them sitting overnight in the, uh, in, the uh, in the fridge, you know, just kind of like cooking and getting ready. And they were just the 
best pancakes. I've never had any other pancake from any other place that was nearly as good as my dad's pancakes. That's Ethan's. Mine. Uh, pretty good, I think. My first attempt at making our dad. I've never made pancakes. I like how you didn't use any color. Yeah, I, well, I mean, that's how, like, traditional pancake curry is done. It's like, <laughs> Shame. you have to use the amount of cook. Well, that's not bad. I can definitely see it. Got a thick outline. I think it. my issue was the batter that I made. Yeah, your batter was shit. Well, it was. I was trying to fill it in, yeah. and it's hard when I don't have the squeeze to fill it I in. I think you had the right amount of, like, baking soda, because yours are thicker. Mine's are a bit thin, probably will be a bit chewy. But, mine, are, uh, mine are just right. <laughs> perfect. Crushed on yours. So it comes down to this. There are three categories of judgment. Number yes. one, quality of the pancake itself. Outside of art, how does it taste? Is it close to a pancake? Number two, how close is the art to the actual thing that it was supposed to be? Like yes. if it is Courage, Homer, and Squidward, how close <laughs> were they to the actual inspiration? And number three, taste. How does it taste? Which tastes the best, bar none, what tastes the best? Okay, makes sense, and that's how we're gonna need it, but we have impartial judges! <laughs> Who's tasting the pancakes? You guys. No, because we're- Wait, no, there are three pancakes, one for each of us, we trade out. Which one to which you can have courage. Mm -hmm. I'll take your courage. You can have Squidward. <laughs> you trade with my Squidward. And Homer? Uh, wait, sorry. Uh, no, this one. <laughs> <laughs> and now this works out. So we've each got one of these. Uh -huh. We'll start out with artistic interpretation. Like, which one do you guys think was closest to the art? So, Mark. Uh, this is courage. We're starting with courage. Starting with courage. Courage. I, I'm voting. I'm voting Mark just based upon the plate. Yeah, I, I really wish I could see courage out of this one, but I just see Kirby. <laughs> I just said <laughs> Kirby. Oh and my god, that's, that's an amazingly good Squidward in there. Oh, oh my man, god. This is Squidward. I would say like Squidward in the middle of a pink forest. But, no, I, I gotta give it to myself too. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, for Squidward. <laughs> Obviously, it's between Mark and me, and Mark is definitely the winner. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know about this man. <laughs> this is so like Squidward. <laughs> Oh, so Homer funny. Simpson, mm -hmm. I actually got to give a, a little credit to this one. I could see Homer because what I was trying to do is I was, you were doing the same thing. I was trying to make that mouth is brown and I was trying to make that different. I can see the mouth distinctly better. It just seems like the rest of it got a little I, I, I overflowed it mm -hmm. at the end all. Ethan's. Ethan's. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can see the eye. Oh, right? yeah. Ethan, little the blue mouth, head baby. Uh, anger, the drinking yeah. problem. Like, <laughs> you did a good job with the hair on yours. I gotta give you props for that. Well, thank you. I didn't know if that would turn out. But I, think, I think overall, Mark wins the artistic oh, category. Thank 100%. You. Thank you. So, by texture, though. And I think that we'll just go overall in this one. Because mm -hmm. it was just the batter, the batter's the same. Mm -hmm. I gotta give it to Tyler. Because mm -hmm. this is more light, yeah. it looks more like a pancake. Mine are very thin. Mm -hmm. His is pancake-like. <laughs> Mine Pan are very. Uh... But again, <laughs> 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 we gotta like look this, at Ethan's. This reminds me of like crepe, crepe thinness. <laughs> it's extra baby. This is a thick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with this one, like the crispiness. Like, yeah, yeah this, he is yeah, the crust. Like, it's even the crust. You are very yeah. close to me. I'm going to give it to Tyler for the oh, pancake-ness of this. I agree. I agree. He's got the batter down. Yeah. Now, here comes the hard part. Taste. Taste. All right. We All have right. to try it without syrup and then with syrup. Okay, well, we're, we're just going to go through each person's. I think that we should do a blind taste test. We know. We know. <laughs> we totally know. All right. Take it, All right. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, no. Clinkies. It's very sweet. It was very sweet. <laughs> very sweet. I do appreciate it. It's light. It's fluffy. It is fluffy. Like, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. Got nice crisp to it. It is not a bad one. It's just weird because, like, in the middle, it's kind of goopy. <laughs> <laughs> you just have the thick one. I have the thick one, yeah. But this <laughs> is not bad. This one. I, I just don't mind this. I do not mind It is that. pleasant. It mm -hmm. is not bad. Mm -hmm. Not pancake. I would, I would eat yeah. it. Mm -hmm. To Mark? All right, let's try me. It was a little bit bland. A little bland. Definitely a little but bland. But definitely pancake tasting. 
mm -hmm. like texture. Mm -hmm. This is the one that could use syrup. Like you, yeah. you yeah. definitely want syrup. This is definitely a syrup mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Not bad. So bad. So Pancakey, not as sweet, which may or may not be good, but in my mind, I, I feel like these are better. All mm -hmm. right. So we got a little sweet, a little bland. Will Tyler be right in there? It's a little chewy. Mm -hmm. A little chewy. I would say just a little chewy. It's got a good flavor. Not bad. Yeah. yeah. It's sweeter than mine. Chewy, but. It's like it didn't fluff quite enough. Yeah, I thought it was going to be fluffier just because of the way it is, but it turned out thicker. Mm -hmm. Not bad, but weirdly enough, I got to give it to Ethan. I, I do too. It tastes good. It looks bad. It tastes <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's because of the amount everybody. of sugar that he just uh, poured into it. We all win. We're all winners. Yeah, so, you're I all really like winners, me. guys. I mean, I mean, I mean, <laughs> it was all that sugar that let me just boom. Yeah. That, oh, that yeah. super blast. Mm. I don't know. It tastes good. No. Yeah. I think we all are winners in our own way. Uh -huh. I had the artistic interpretation. You had the pancakey look and feel of it. And you had taste overall. Mm -hmm. I like it. That worked out really well. I mean, not every competition has to end in bloodshed and terror. No. no. Stab you with a spatula. <laughs> 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 Thank you for that. Oh, that means so much to me. So anyway, uh, that is the end of the pancake challenge. We hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we had a lot of fun making it. We had a lot of fun doing this. And uh, from Ethan the Crust Nester to Tyler the Apocalypse, the Twelve Apocalypses, <laughs> shot, and me, Mark, Mister Butterworth Fishbach, and I expect. Excellent fan art. Yeah, <laughs> really. <laughs> so, if you guys want to make pancakes oh, or yeah. bake art, mm -hmm. we would love to see it. Send mm -hmm. it to us. Uh, tag us Instagram, Twitter, Mr. Butter. Put it in the comments. Yeah, so just let us know if you guys want to do this. It's really easy to do. Oh, you just get a squeeze bottle, put pancake mix, and just time it out. So, either way, thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, we will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye! Bye. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that was, oh my gosh, that was so funny. Okay, so I mean, I mean, when they first started making it, it seemed like Ethan knew what he was doing. Because, I mean, the way, the way he was going with, like, the Pam and everything, he knew, like, what he was doing. And then the other two didn't really seem like they were doing. And then when it came out, it looked like Mark won. So, I mean, they all won in the end, but it was, it was just, it was just interesting to see if, and then it was just interesting to see in the end. So, um, but that was nice that Mark told us that he used to make pancakes with his dad all the time. That was nice. Um, so we know he knew how to make pancakes. I don't know if he had made pancakes for a while, but I know my dad always makes pancakes, but I, it's been a while. So, um, so hopefully you guys maybe get creative with this. If you guys want to go out and make your own pancakes after watching this, go right ahead. Um, and tell me some of your pancake stories. Have you tried to make pancakes? Have they not turned out so well? <laughs> Have you tried to make pancake art and it turned out nothing like you wanted it to be? Or tried to make something and it made something else? You never know. Uh, so hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big like, thumbs up, subscribe. Um, sorry for the yawn, for the yawn in between. Um... And hopefully you guys have a great rest of your sa uh, Saturday or Sunday. It's a Sunday. <laughs> and I will see you all later. Stay sunny, everybody. Bye.